What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do a reading for Leo Gang. What's up, gang? Okay, we're going to tap in. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good shit, Leo. I'll show you what's going on here, okay? So, the first cards I got out, we got the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So, there's some sort of reality check out here. Uh, some illusion has been broken. Or there could be like a water sign, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio that's seeing the truth about something now. They've taken the rose-colored glasses off. Um, then we got the Magician here. Gemini energy, Virgo energy. Some of you have Virgo or Gemini in your chart. I feel like you're, ma you're manifesting. Your third eye is open. Um, Leo, I feel like you know how to work with the elements. You know how to work with the tools. You're a master manifester. You're really resourceful i feel like you're minding your business the magician is as above so below so it's just like if you're imagining it in your third eye is going to come to fruition you just have to stay focused and seize every opportunity you know what i'm saying i feel like that's what you're doing you're working your magic um you're trying to manifest something or just manifest your dreams manifest the shit that you want in your life period i just feel like you're just minding your business trying to figure out how to create how to uh manifest your desires is what you're focused on what do you want next what 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 else is out there what do you want to create next where do you want to take your magic next you know what i'm saying i feel like that's what you're focused on and then I, there's a queen of coast reverse out here who's like jealous and competing with you possibly I feel like you don't even notice this bitch. <laughs> to be honest, I mean, you could be aware of this Queen of Cups reverse, but you don't really care. Like, you can know this bitch is jealous of you, or she has a chip on her shoulder. She feels some type of way towards you, but I don't feel like you care. Now, the bottom of the deck is the Strength card reverse. So, for some of you, you could be dealing with another um, Leo or... This could be somebody with Leo in their chart as well, or this could just be anybody embodying this strength reverse energy. Strength reverse is a coward. It's a punk. It's somebody who's feeling weak. They're feeling vulnerable, feeling like they don't have enough support at the moment um, to do something. It's like somebody could, somebody around them could be making shit difficult for them as well. Um, they could be not feeling well, or, you know, they're, they're letting, uh, bad habits get the best of them too so this is somebody who used to they used to drink really heavy and then they got to a place where they got sober or they quit i feel like they're doing they're re, like relying on these bad habits again or something here like strip card reverse it's like they're wanting somebody to clean up a mess for them or they're taking a sort of passive approach to a situation that is calling them to be brave or courageous or requires more strength but i just feel like they they feel like they're not capable of doing it or something i don't know somebody here yeah i'm hearing you are the weakest weakest link so i basically i just feel like somebody was too weak for you leo i feel like you're over here doing your thing the magician you're manifesting like hard it's like you're trying to bring something into fruition i'm not sure what it is you got a hate ass bitch i don't know if this queen of cups reverse is connected to this strength reverse person so this queen of cups reverse is connected to another leo or somebody that you were dating whoever you were dating is this strength reverse person this this weakling and i feel like this queen of cups reverse is attached to this person but this bitch is jealous of you but i feel like you're not paying either one of them no mind like you don't give a fuck about either one of them it's like queen of wands in the upright and the eight of cups I feel like you walked away from this person. You took your power back. You're in your strength. You're minding your business. You're manifesting. You're not worried about whoever this coward is. Well, this person got a bitch pressed off of you. It's like, why? Yeah, this person is toxic and obsessed with you. The devil is going to be a Capricorn. Yeah, because I feel like you triggered this person. I feel like you don't respect this person. This person knows that. So they're triggered by that. This is like, why won't you respect me? Why won't you respect me, Leo? <laughs> this is like, why do you? Why does it even matter? The fact that I don't respect you shouldn't even matter to you. That's my opinion of you. But that shouldn't even matter to you because you got a Queen of Cups reverse out here that's here to validate you. She's willing to ride your nuts. Yeah, look at this. As soon as I say Queen of Cups reverse and the High Priestess fall out, so this would be a Pisces. It's like, girl. It's 
see. Who the fuck is this? Let's see, who the fuck is this, Leo? Like, because I feel like they got a bitch bothering you for no reason. <laughs> Clarify this for Leo. Yeah, seven of cups in the reverse. And then we got escapism, running away from their problems. Yeah, so this is somebody, this is why you feel like this person is a coward and you don't respect them. They're a runner. This is somebody who likes to run away from their problems and they like to wait for other people to clean up the mess for them. So an escapist that's why you don't respect this person because they won't come resolve what it is that the problem that they have with you or something yes hold on i gotta sneeze Oh, bless me. Confirmation. These two cards that came out, I'm putting back in the deck because I don't like how they fell out. But it says toasting, celebrating wins and acknowledging or celebrating wins and acknowledgement. So some of you are out here toasting, cheers to something, um, just maybe to your life in general or just who you've become or some type of accomplishment. I feel like you're celebrating wins. You keep winning out here, Leo. And then we got canceled. Yeah, you just, like you threw somebody in the trash. It says no longer existing bully to the point of depression. Yeah, so I feel like this person has been bullied to the point of depression. But I feel like this person is canceled in your eyes. It's like you no longer even see them as relevant. It's just like, like bitch, who? What are you talking about? Or shit, this Queen of Cups reverse is jealous because you're a manifester, a master manifester. You know how to work with the elements. You know how to get what you want. Like, I don't know. It's a weird ass bitch out here, my girl. This this Queen of Cups reverse is mad because she tried to compete with you over this loser, this insecure ass coward. But it's just like, you let this nigga go. You let the bitch have him. And you're still over here getting what you want and manifesting what you want. Opportunities are still coming towards you. It says simp. Doing too much for someone going overboard. Yeah, they were simping over this queen of cups here. Trying to make you jealous of this queen of cups reverse here. It's like, why though? Like, her ass is retarded. It likes to play victim. She's a drunk. It's like, bitch, What? Yeah, they were simping over this Queen of Cups, I guess, trying to make you jealous. Like, I don't know. Or they fell for this Queen of Cups reverse tactic. Because Queen of Cups can be manipulative. Somebody who pretends to be in her feminine energy. But really being in your feminine energy and being manipulative because you're a woman is not the same shit. So, I don't know. They got tricked by this Queen of Cups reverse. They start simping over her, buying her gifts and shit, doing too much, going overboard. And now they're somewhere trying to escape their life with this bitch. Yeah, cutting ties. Uh-huh. Expired and di discontinued use. So, yeah, he cut ties with this Queen of Cups in the reverse because he realized that this bitch wasn't worth simping over. She wasn't worth being vulnerable or opening up to. Yeah, somebody out here realized that they were being manipulated by a bitch. And I feel like you warned this person about this Queen of Cups in the reverse, but they didn't listen. Oh, well. 211 on the timer. I don't know what 211 means. Or on the clock, not the timer. Yeah, sitting on a pedal stool. It says too perfect to fail, idealistic, respected, and admired. Yeah, I feel like they were putting this point of coast reverse on a pedal stool. <laughs> But now it's like they're trying to escape their life with this bitch. Like, what the fuck does this got to do with you? Yeah, train ride. It says, been around, sexual conquest, runaway lover, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, likes to smash. 
So yeah, I feel like this is somebody who ran away from you. You could have let them hit it and then they disappeared because they chose this Queen of Cups in the reverse. But it's like now they're cutting ties with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. But it's just like, why? Like, you need to stay with that bitch. I'm gonna put this back in there because this already came out. It's that toasting card celebrating wins. I'm gonna put that back in the deck. Shit. What's the message here for Leo? I just get you're over here minding your business manifesting. I don't know what the fuck the rest of this shit got to do with you. Other than the fact that you may have used to date this person or you slept with them maybe before. Yeah, this bitch is sending you evil eye because because this coward ass person could ties with her like she's trying to blame you or project on you for somebody leaving her like bitch that ain't got see that's that that's that shit i'll be talking about this shit ain't got nothing to do with you evil eye they put a spell on you you're protected yeah so this bitch has been sending negative energy your way this queen of cups in the reverse all because she got left by some loser ass nigga like that ain't got shit to do with you all right girl be for real yeah, cold-blooded. It says, closes off emotions, cuts you off, emotionally distant, cold-hearted snake. Yeah, so this person was snaking you? Or they were trying to, or they did in the past? That's why the Seven of Cups is in reverse. You see the truth. There's a reality check around the situation that you were involved in with this person. They were a snake. They did you cold-blooded. They closed off their emotions. They cut you off or started ignoring you or ghosted you and became emotionally distant. While they were simping over some bitch that was manipulating them. It's like, okay. You're getting you're simping over a karmic. And they became emotionally distant towards you. Now what? Yeah, lazy. It says can't be bothered to do anything unmotivated, going at their own pace. So they're lazy as fuck. It's somebody with a poor work ethic and they're a dog. It's like they're just lazy as fuck. I don't I don't see you even being attracted to this person. Like, I don't. Like, who is this? Is this your baby daddy? Yeah, fade away. It says problems will be behind you. They will disappear out of your lifetime to heal moving on. So, yeah, you're moving on. You're healing. You don't give a fuck about no bitch sending you no fucking evil eye. You don't give a fuck about this lazy-ass, coward-ass loser who just cut you off for no reason. Y'all said they ain't had the balls or the courage to really break up with you. So, they just, like, disappear or quit communicating or just became emotionally distant. It's like, it's just like, okay, that's what you wanted to do. That's what you wanted to do. I feel like this person, these memories, whatever the fuck this is, just fading slowly, just slowly fading out of your mind. The more you heal, the more this shit fades away. I hear you. Problems will be behind you. They will disappear out of your life. Time to heal, moving on. So I feel like you're already healing. Yeah, bottom of the deck is the fire starter. True visionary questions, rules, inquisitive, inquisitive rebel on a mission. Yeah, I feel like you're on a new mission in your life. You're a visionary. You're the type that questions rules. You don't mind stirring a pot or starting a fire, being inquisitive. It's just like you're nothing to play with now. After no, after dealing with somebody that can be so cold-blooded, it's just like nothing scares you now. I feel like your worst fear has happened. Like somebody going cold on you, just tricking you or whatever. I feel like that was your worst fear, but it happened anyway. So now you're fearless when it comes to shit like that. It's like somebody ghosts you or throws themselves off emotionally. It don't bother you now. It's just like, okay. This shit is slowly fading away. The more you heal, the more it fades. I don't know why this person is still showing up in your energy because you don't fuck with them. I feel like you took your power back. The Queen of Wands is in the upright underneath this deck. In the Eight of Cups, you refused to settle. You walked away. It's like, yeah, I'm not... You, and this could have been somebody you put a lot of time, energy, and effort into, but you're like, I'm good. I don't need you. Like, real shit. Now that you took your power back, this person is a coward. <laughs> Period. 
and 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 somebody is like causing trouble for them too so this queen of cups reverse is making it hard for this person to even come towards you anyway this cancer pisces or a scorpio heavy on the pisces and it's like they're too lazy to do anything about it this bitch this queen of cups in the reverse is literally harassing this person creating blockages for them and they're too lazy to even get up and do something about it or fight back or anything. They're just letting it happen. And that's why you don't respect this person. Like, you're letting a, a, a little whiny bitch push you around. Shit. Yeah, kitchen witch. It says a sense of home and comfort, putting intentions and energy into food, drinks, and desserts works with heart spells. It says mimic glam magic resembles you, trying to mirror your aesthetic and vibe, doppelganger energy, copycat. So this bitch is trying to copy off of you in order to keep this nigga. Like, bitch, you can never. Yeah, it said evil eyes twice. This bitch keeps, this is some kitchen witch who be doing shit in her kitchen. Don't know what the fuck she doing. Putting shit in this nigga's drinks and shit. Um, and on top of that, trying to copy your energy. I feel like there's clarity around that. This person knows that this bitch is trying to be you. Like, to keep him. It's like, you don't even want him. This is giving you the evil eye. Hateful, envious gazes. Hateful, envious gazes. Cursing you with their eyes. Sending you bad luck, projecting negativity towards you, girl. Right, be for real. <laughs> like, I feel like you're not entertaining none of this. I feel like you're focused on your healing. Your memories with this person or whatever the fuck it was is fading away. Or it will the more you start healing. Seventeen. Excuse me. Seventeen. Seventeen on the timer. It's like this Queen of Cups reverse wants you to be jealous of her so bad when really it's the other way around. Like, bitch, you're jealous of Leo. Leo is over here not paying your ass no attention or this lame ass nigga either. It's like, girl, yeah, five of swords in the reverse. Yeah, these mind games this motherfucker was trying to play with you, it backfired. Now they're humiliated. They're, they're looking stupid. They're embarrassed. Like, the Five of Swords reverse could be public humiliation because they're with this raggedy-ass bitch, this Queen of Cups in the reverse. They're embarrassed by her. Five of Swords in reverse. This person tried to play mind games with you or get over on you and it backfired. Now they're humiliated. They're looking stupid. All right, like, the Five of Swords reverse is somebody. This person did hurt your feelings, Leo. They really did. They hurt your feelings. And it's like the lies are coming out. The lies are being exposed. The truth is being revealed. But there's still pain around the situation. Okay, like, the truth is out. You know, you listen to a weird-ass Queen of Cups versus me. I had your best interest, but it doesn't change the fact that the damage is already done. So it's just like, okay, the lies are out, but the damage is already done. doesn't matter. You still hurt Leo's feelings. You still did them dirty. You still fucked them over for a queen of cups that was doing magic on your ass but it doesn't matter neither here nor there yeah six of cups reverse yeah this is somebody that you ended on bad terms with somebody this could be a scorpio or somebody with scorpio in their chart a scorpio placement and if you have a child or children with this person they don't have a good relationship with their kids hell they got childhood trauma that they need to work on with the six of cups in the reverse yeah and the Queen of Cups reverse. This bitch is out here again. I'm telling you, this bitch does not want this person to make amends with you. And I don't mean like, even if you and this person don't even 
get into a relationship ever again in life. It's like, this bitch don't even want you to, like, co-parent or uh, she don't want you to co-parent, be cool with your kids, nothing. Like, the bitch is really, like, weird. Like, she do not want you to heal anything with this person, just period, because she's scared that y'all gonna get back together or whatever. The bitch is intimidated by you. Yeah, the moon reverse. Because this secret has been revealed. The secret has came out about this betrayal. Ten of Swords here. Yeah, they, they realized that they got snaked by this Queen of Cups reverse. It was never you. Like, real shit. Yeah, well, the Five of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, Queen of Cups. I mean, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse as well. <sighs> So who the fuck are these hoes? Why is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? Capricorn towards Virgo energy. Yeah, Chariot in the reverse. Yeah, so they got tricked by a gold digger. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and a Chariot reverse. This bitch probably ain't got no car. She coerced this person down the wrong path. She tried to exploit them for money, take advantage of them because of the potential that she saw in them. But really, she was creating a blockage. It's like, bitch, you're a gold digger. You only get with people for money. So you think God is going to gonna bless somebody to be the best version of themselves while they're with you, knowing that God knows you're there for the wrong reason? No. That's why a lot of niggas be stuck. They don't be understanding, like, damn, why can't I reach my full potential? Why can't I, you know, find my purpose? It's because you got people around you who have ill intent. God is aware of that. He needs you to be aware so that you can cut these people off so you can grow, so you can elevate and get to where you're supposed to be. But as long as you got the wrong motherfuckers around you, they will never let you get to that point knowing that there's people around you close to you in close proximity that's ready to snake your ass like no this is just no like, this person's already taking advantage of the little that you do have why would i bless you with more so they could take advantage of that too because your ass don't know how to set boundaries with the um strength in the reverse yeah that's why they're running around the, the night of wands this this motherfucker's been coming out all day so there's a lot of niggas that's just in this night of wands energy or they just got Sagittarius in their chart or something. But yeah, Chariot in the reverse. Yeah, they let a bitch coerce them. Trick them when all she wanted this person all she wanted was this person's money. This bitch could be having car trouble. Why is the chariot in the reverse here? Something here is like out of control or it didn't got out of control with this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. And look at that, the tower. Yeah, her car could be fucked up due to an accident. The chariot in the tower here. She could have had an accident that totaled her shit out. Or something is just falling apart. Whatever they thought they built with this Queen of Pentacles reverse is falling apart. The, the tower here, the shit is crumbling. Or it already did. Yeah, four of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, they could have realized somebody stole something from them. Or somebody's still trying to be controlling and possessive even though this tower is falling. Yeah, death in the reverse. Yeah, somebody doesn't want this shit to be over. Heavy Scorpio energy. Yeah, this this Scorpio is spying on you or whoever this is with with, with uh Scorpio in a chart heavy. Yeah, look at that. The strength in the upright. You, this person is spying on you. Their life is falling the fuck apart, and they're somewhere stalking you, surveilling you, monitoring you. Trying to see what you're up to, what you're doing, what you got going on. Page of Swords here. I feel like you pulled your energy back from this person gracefully. You tamed your energy because I feel like at one point, Leo, you may want to fuck this person up or whoop they ass, but you managed to control yourself with the strength here. But this person's being nosy. They're all in your business. Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, because you could be connecting with somebody new or you have a new friend. You're dating somebody or you have a new friend or somebody's trying to find out who this is with this two of cups energy that you're connecting with. 
because they could have seen you hanging out with somebody. Yeah, they're jealous. King of Wands in reverse. This definitely could be another Leo, or this is a Sagittarius or Aries or somebody with fire in their chart or shit. This could be some Jezebel ass nigga. Somebody who thinks women are supposed to chase them. Somebody with an attitude problem, temper problem, very jealous and hostile. Ego out of control. They think bitches are supposed to chase them, but you didn't. Yeah, this is somebody with abandonment issues, or they want to come back to you. They're, they're this person, King of Wands reverse. They have abandonment issues for one. Number two, they're opportunists. They thought the grass was greener on the other side, but they were really getting tricked by a bitch. And they went over there and realized that the grass wasn't greener. <laughs> Now they want to come back towards you, but they settled for something else. It's like they settled for a queen of cups that they put all this time and energy into. And you're over here healing with a star. It's like you found your purpose. You're in your north node. So some of you could... <clears throat> Ooh, look at my voice going out. Some of you could definitely resonate with like high vibrational Aquarius energy. I feel like you're very healed. You're healing. Some of you are in your prayer bag. Some of you didn't went and got baptized or you're thinking about it. Yeah, the Empress in the reverse. Like, who is all these hoes? Like, Empress reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups in the reverse. It's like you're in the star energy, rising the fame, rising the stardom. You could be a healer. You could be in the beauty industry, medical field. I feel like you're over here just healing, minding your business. Four cups, you're not interested in this person. This could be somebody with multiple baby mamas or yeah, they the copycat bitch. The Empress Reverse, your doppelganger is out here. Nine of Cups. I feel like you're laughing at this person. Like you feel like they look stupid or they look dumb. They do. King of Wands, I feel like they're upset, they're mad. <laughs> If this is not an actual fire sign, another fire sign that you were dating, another Leo or Aries or a Sag, this is just somebody they are, ooh, my voice keeps trying to go out. They are upset. King of um, Wands in the reverse, they're mad. <laughs> they're mad at all these hoes. Like, what the fuck? I feel like you're over here laughing. You're spoiled. There's wish fulfillment out here for you with the star and the nine of cups. You're getting what you want. You're happy. You're content with your life and the decision that you made. You're letting the past be in the past. You're not letting past shit stop you from moving forward. Like, yeah, six of pentacles. Yeah, you could be the one in a position to give or help now. This person may need your help, but they're... They got too much pride and ego to ask for it. Yeah, Page of Wands, but they want to reach out. What's this Page of Wands here? Two of Wands here. Yeah, they want to come back towards you after they ruin their life. Two of Wands in the reverse. They feel like their options are limited or restricted. They feel like the only thing they can do is like be single, get back with an ex that ain't about shit, or get back with you. But I feel like you don't want them. You do not want them. <laughs> yeah, King of Swords here. It's like they want to talk to you now, have a conversation, a serious conversation with you. Why is the King of Swords here? Shit, this could be their mama, their baby mama, their sister. It was all in cahoots. Did they ass dirty. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Yeah, look, they want to talk to your ass. King of Swords to the Queen of Wands. They want to come speak to you about something, but you don't trust it. You're side-eyeing this person. It's like you told them something about their weird-ass family or these hoes that they had around them and shit. Two of Swords here. Yeah, I feel like you're ignoring this person like they ignored you. Yeah, you're leaving their ass out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. It's like, bitch, oh well. Queen of Wands. Yeah, three of cups. Yeah, you're out here celebrating. This came out in Libra's energy, too. So I don't know if you're going to a Libra's party or event or I don't know what you're doing. You're going to somebody's party or if you're cool with a Scorpio, you could be attending a birthday party or an event for a Scorpio. Or shit, you're just celebrating one of your wins or accomplishments or you could be on a date. Queen of Wands with the three of cups, celebrating happy with your boo. 
Yeah, it's like you've recovered from this ten of swords. This ten of swords is supposed to betray you. They backstabbed you. They did you dirty for all these hoes that was manipulating them. And now that they in a fucked up position in the five of pentacles reverse, now they want your help. Whether it's financial or spiritual, they need advice. They need nurturing. They need money. Shit. Yeah, they want to come back towards you slowly. They've been taking their sweet ass time or trying to be methodical about the way that they're going to come towards you. Yeah, Five of Cups. Yeah, you're not in this place. Like, you don't feel guilty about the past. The star energy is here. You've healed. It just is what it is. Like, the past is the past. Nobody is living there anymore. Except for this person with that Six of Cups in the reverse. They're stuck in the past. Yeah, eight of eight of uh wands in the reverse. You could have blocked this person, or like there's new problems arriving in an old situation. The eight of wands reverse. It's like this person's been going through the same shit for a long time, and now there's even more problems that's popping up in the same situation. It's like if you just walk away or leave, eight of cups reverse. They're codependent on something or someone. Yeah, six of wands reverse. They didn't lost respect, ruin their reputation. They lost. Shit. Yeah, three of swords reversed. This supposed to put you in a third party situation. You healed completely. Ten of cups reversed. Told you this is their raggedy ass family. Ten of cups in the reverse. These hoes, they mama and, and they who they baby mama and whoever else, then fuck they shit up. When you were telling them the truth the whole time. You're the only person. Imagine it. Imagine being around the same people, your people you consider family that you would think have your best interests. Imagine being around those people your whole life only to find out they're manipulating you and the person that came across your path that God sent was the one who really did have your best interest and you fucked it up. Because you thought your weak ass family knew better. Yeah, I told you they are looking stupid. Food in the reverse. They just look dumb. They look dumb. They feel dumb. Oh well. King of Cups and the lovers in the reverse. Yeah, they're in love with you but they're caught up in a lover's reverse connection. It seems like they got these strong ass feelings for you and shit, but they're still in a low vibrational relationship with somebody. Yeah, they got too much burden, too much baggage. So they could be married. This is an unhappy marriage with the Ten of Cups reverse that they feel stuck in or they can't leave because they don't want to abandon their kids or whatever the fuck, but or they don't want to look stupid, but they are they look dumb to you. But they might not want to look dumb in front of other people who they got convinced that, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah three of pentacles here and the nine of swords in the reverse yeah you you're doing something else now you're working on a new project you're collaborating with a new group of people it's like you could be networking or you could be in production or film or something um youtube vlogging something yeah king of pentacles reverse this could be earth sign capricorn Taurus, or virgo this person's broke they ain't got no money. Queen of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, they're married to somebody and they're bro they're broke and the bitch is broke. Mm -mm. Yeah, the hierophant. But see, God was watching this person with every move that they made. They did some disloyal shit towards you for no reason. Thinking that I don't know what the fuck they thought. That they was gonna come up or they was gonna trick you or they was gonna try to sacrifice you and shit. Now they're pretending like they're happy faking and shit. It's the sun in the reverse. Three of cups. Yeah, and now this person wants to rush in, come towards you with this passionate energy while you're celebrating your accomplishments, while you're having fun, while you're going out and shit. It's like this person wants to come towards you while you're in this lighthearted energy. You know, while you're under the influence or you've been drinking or having a good time or you went out and shit, this person wants to try to come in towards you, not a wine. With all this passion and energy, like, don't fall for it. Do not fall for it, Leo. Like, hang man, yeah, this person's stuck. It's like, they, they can only have a good time. That's all they can do. They can't make no commitment. Ten of Wands here, they got too much baggage. The hangman reverses. Some of you, this could be a Pisces. Because this is somebody nice looking too. Easy on the eyes. Possibly good dick. <laughs> Yeah, two of pentacles, but they're juggling. 
They got holes. They're juggling two two bitches or two situations or something. Yeah, triggered. Yeah, you got this person triggered. They feel some type of way. Why? Because you're not paying them no attention. Why is this person triggered? Nine of Wands here, heavy on the Sagittarius energy. Yeah, because you turned the tables on their ass. You learned your karmic lesson and you got the fuck out. That's why. They're triggered because they feel like you used them for a lesson or something to level up. Yeah, and they made the wrong decision. They they judge you incorrectly listening to these hating assholes. <laughs> Clarify this Queen of Cups in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, all these hoes, these bitches were just money hungry and greedy. They felt like this man had some sort of potential or that he was going to be and make a lot of money or something. Why well, is the Nine of Pentacles here? These hoes don't even like this person. They got with him for status, clout, whatever. Yeah, somebody could be going to jail as well. Eight of Swords here. For scamming or scheming or stealing some type of money, money laundering with the Ten of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Pentacles reverse, extortion. Somebody's going to jail for scamming. Yeah, and I feel like you got your head down, you're focused, you're protecting your peace. As these secrets or these lies are coming out, it's just like you're staying focused. The shit is has nothing to do with you. Yeah, King of Cups here. Yeah, you're resting, healing, and manifesting. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Magician. It's like you're perfecting your skill set. Some of you could be at school. You're at work. You're in your prayer bag. You're going to church or something. And you're just manifesting. Like, you don't give a fuck about this situation or this person at all because you told them. And I feel like if you did, if you did want to say anything to this person, the only thing you probably say is, I told you so. Oh, well, bitch. Stewing that shit that you created. Yeah, the, the hermit in the reverse. Uh, yeah, you don't want shit to do with this person. A lot of people don't either. This person's hanging out with all kind of weird people now, trying to find a place to fit in because they don't fit in with their family anymore. Or, yeah, Queen of Swords reverse. They're arguing with a bitch. Queen of Swords reverse arguing with this bitch that lied to them. Yeah, because they're haunted by the past. They're literally, they listen to somebody. Who, who reading did this come out in? Yeah, look at that drama. Justice, legal problems, five of wands. There's a Libra arguing out here. It's like some, this person's arguing with somebody because you don't want them anymore. It's like they arguing with a lying ass bitch. conflict and drama Ooh, somebody is like they're into it with all these karmic feminine energies because of you i mean not because of you but because shit somebody lied on you to them and they believed it It was a bad judgment call they didn't use their better judgment they just believed what somebody told them automatically about you and they did some snake shit they really like made you feel some type of way with the five of swords and it's like now they need your help again or they want to be on your side now but it's like it's too fucking late and i feel like even if you would have stooped, stooped to this person's little level and beat them the fuck up because they definitely deserved it i feel like you just let them be with these hating assholes that they thought was better than you or had your interest or had they better interest more than you did. I feel like you just left them to the snakes that was manipulating them. I feel like this person could be going to jail. Just as reversing the eight of swords. Because they're fighting and getting into it. Or breaking property or something. Yeah, this person's feeling very... This person's upset. I don't know why they're mad. But... I don't fucking will. Anyways, Leo, this has been a reading, okay? Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. I will holler at you later. Peace.